All right, guys, so today we're doing a bunch of different things. This particular video is going to be a headlight polishing video. If you can see it or not, well, if Philip getting here real close, these headlights are rough. Uh, never been polished, never had anything done. We're going to use our kit today. There's two things you need to do this. One of these kits, these things are getting hard to get, man. The last few videos I made, people went and bought these up. This is a McGuire's heavy duty kit. If you want one of these, I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon store, if I could find them. That's the next thing. The next thing you're gonna need is going to be a drill. You don't need one this big, you just need a regular drill because we're gonna use the polishing uh, kit that comes in this kit. The polishing bonnet that comes in this kit. We'll show you. All right, so let's unpack this kit real quick. We're gonna show you. We showed you guys this before. Um, a lot of you guys may not know. I don't know. We've got several things in here. One, we have a little hand sander. That's usually all you need. We have a thousand grit pad for that. Then we have a 3000 grit, grit pad for that. For the second stage, we have a sponge for applying the clear coat. Then we have a little buffing bonnet for the drill. Then we have the clear coat, which in this one, it's not a spray. On this one, it's actually a bottle. So you can squeeze it on the sponge and apply it. We have the buffing compound, the Plastic X. You could use a big, like we have a big buffer. We have all the buffing compound. This works easy for having the headlight on the vehicle. A big buffer does not, right? This, you could do it in a couple minutes with only a drill. You don't even need a extension cord at all. And it's real easy. We're gonna show you right now. Okay, we're gonna start off with here is a couple things. We get us a microfiber towel, we'll have on standby. I like to use Windex on these. It just is easier. You could use soapy water, you could use regular water, you could use whatever you want. The Windex already have in the spray bottle. We're just gonna miss it. We got our 1000 grit on here. Holy cow. We're gonna go in here and we're just gonna sand. You can hear it clicking. We're gonna sand all the impurities out of this. Let's wipe it off once, take a look, we'll see what we got. Blow on it, take a look. A little bit more right there. We'll just graze it all a little more. It's coming right off though. Do you need to tape it off? I mean, if you're real, if you don't know what you're doing, I guess maybe you could. But if you don't hit the paint, this thing's small enough, we're tucking it, we're going under that, so we're not actually touching the paint. You can see it's kind of like dirty foam coming off of it. Let's go and wipe it again. You can see it looks a lot cleaner. Let's put on our 3000 grit. Just enough to take the sand scratches from the 1000 grit out. There's that. Wipe it off again. We're getting there. Next up, Plastic X. We're going to put our wool bonnet and our drill. Be a lot of fuzz come off this thing because it's brand new. Oh, hold on. Stand by. Pull that off of there. Start with about that. Start on slow. Yeah, we'll go with number two.
just a little bit more. Is it gonna be perfect? No. But what we're gonna do, get our rag back out, we're gonna wipe that compound off. Look at all the dust from that thing. These headlights have a lot of check marks on the inside from the lights or whatever have you. Then very last, we're gonna get our sponge out, our clear coat. We're gonna wipe, starting at the top. All right. And you wanna keep wiping it, but don't. Like I'm picking at it, that's too much, all right? And if you start to wipe it when it's dry, it'll start smearing it. And you have to do it all over. So let that sit. What you don't wanna do is get this thing wet. I forgot how many hours it said before you get it wet. Um, I would not get it wet the same day, right? So I'll feel if you can see here how clear that one is and how Freaking nasty that one is. It's not perfect, but it's 95% there. That one just looks like somebody drug it down a dirt road. Okay, we're gonna time lapse you for the last one and we'll do them both, we'll be right back. So here it is, it's all done. It's 95, 97% better. Um, there again, those kits are 20 bucks. You could do about 10 cars with that or this car 10 times. 20 bucks well spent, don't pay somebody to do it, super easy. Now, that's gonna be all for this video. Stay tuned, we're doing spark plugs in this bad boy next. That'll be tomorrow's video. So if you wanna see that, go watch it. See you later. Have a good day.